the safest way to observe the sun. And you will not burn your eyes out by observing this screen. Uh, welcome all to what we like to think of as the center of the known universe, the hall of the universe of the Hayden Planetarium and the Rose Center for Earth and Space. It's the Coleman Hall of the Universe. And uh, I'm, you're going to be regaled with all manner of Venus transit lore, Venus transit science, by the person I'm about to introduce. Uh, but just to, just to set you up for this. Just kidding. I like messing with the sound guy like that. Uh, so, uh, you're going to learn that it's rare and, and a couple of but One thing I just want to make sure we get across, and it will surely come up again. You're about to see Venus move across the surface of the sun, and the sunlight will actually dim as measured from Earth by one tenth of one percent because the planet is blocking the sunlight. That is exactly what NASA's Kepler telescope is doing with thousands of other stars in the galaxy. It's checking to see if a planet in orbit around those stars is blocking a little bit of its light. It makes the measurement, times it its way across, and that's how we learn, one of the ways we learn about exoplanets. So as you see this, just think about all the science, and you will hear much more about it from our special guest this evening that I'll be introducing. So, thanks for coming tonight. It's the best free ticket in town. It's free if you came within the last half hour. <laughs> Did someone come arrive earlier and then you pay full price to get in the museum? Raise your hand. See, if you, if you, if you procrastinated, could have gotten in for free. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, we've had the luxury at the museum and at the Hayden Planetarium of having a staff of experts in all manner of elements of what it is to bring the universe to the public. When I was a kid, I interacted with just such people. They're educators and scientists. People who thought deeply about and cared about the fact that I would learn about their expertise. Uh, one such person is named Steve Byer. Steve, come on out here. Steve Byer, give him a warm welcome here. Woo! Steve Byer uh, teaches at the College of Staten Island and at, uh, at BMCC downtown, Bar of Manhattan Community College. And he, of his many expertises, one of them is he's an expert on the night sky, but as well as the day sky, anything that happens in the sky. He's an official associate of the Hayden Planetarium, and like I said, we've had the luxury of connecting ourselves to people with this level of expertise. And if you don't recognize him, he actually is in our stable of people who brings the seasonal sky to you in the Hayden Planetarium dome itself. So before tonight is out, check out what the schedule is for future such uh, occasions. And that way you can become an expert in the night sky that you can't otherwise see from New York. <laughs> so, uh, this is Steve Byer. Steve, thanks for coming and agreeing to do this here. My pleasure, Neil. And, and so, by the way, this feed from NASA, that's for museums who don't have people like Steve Byer. Okay? So I assure you, you're not missing anything here when you've got Steve Byer standing in front of you. Okay? So guys, enjoy the event. Um, once Venus comes onto the sun, afterwards it's kind of long and boring. So we got other things planned for you. Okay? So uh, enjoy the evening, Steve. Thanks for coming through. Thank you so much. Dr.